Hey everyone, welcome back to Weeby Blocks. Oh my gosh, we have all of the 37 songs for Eurovision 2023 and I haven't listened to all of them still. You know, which is very interesting because not all of them are yet on Spotify because I only listen on Spotify normally. But I already started listening to all of them, you know, which are there already. And it's so exciting. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of great songs. And there are songs that they grow up, you know, with, with every listen, which is, which is amazing. I really like that. You know, I love good music. I love some Eurovision, you know, music. Isn't that excited? Like, isn't that absolutely excited? Literally, I'm on fire. I'm so warm right now because I'm so excited because I am going to be reacting to Georgia's song, which is called Eco by Iru. Hey! <laughs> yes, Queen Iru, she won the voice of Georgia. Total slate, realness, honey. That voice, that vocal, the, the way she performs, the way she sings, that attitude is everything. I love her so much. She's like a museo. Are you ready? Let's, Let's do, do this! <laughs> Okay, I am ready to put my AirPods Pro to listen full quality music which Iru is going to give us in Georgia. Hitting play right now. Oh my gosh, that face, that skin scare, I wanna These know. These visuals are so know. arresting. Will be better way, will we... Oh my gosh, those outfits. Wow. Oh, the mask. Oh, this. Life yes. is love. That shot thing that is shot known. Is everything. The, the whole, the whole outfit, the, the hair, the, 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 the makeup, you know, the short hair is my favorite. Oh, yes, Queen. Iru. She is such a captivating, arresting performer. Jundraka, Jundraka. Loving these body movements. Oh my gosh, this is so powerful. My love is my crown. Put her a heart crown. Okay, there's a, there's a groove here. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is absolutely amazing. We'll be better away. We'll be... It is not a secret, girl. Not a secret, honey. You know. The breathy pace of life. Life can sometimes be wow. all consuming. This, this is absolutely artistic. I love when she's like Jim Draka, Jim Draka, Jim Draka. It adds, you know, special flavor to the to the whole, you know, video and to, to the whole song. Jim Draka, Jim Draka, like Jim Draka. Jim Draka, Jim Draka, Jim Draka. Jim Draka. The art direction here, the choreography, wardrobe visuals, lighting, yes, the team oh are God, just on like... another level. You know, this is a true package, right? It's not just about Iru. Absolutely. Like, She's everything like is working. Like, icon of the music, icon of the fashion, icon of the hair. And of course, of Iru Kechanovi is... She's good too. But I can see the work of so many other people here. My soul is like a fortress? You better defend that fortress, honey. But because you are the queen, hey, love is a wordless. It is. Love is a feeling. What? Some poetry here. Oh my gosh, my girl, Iru. She was like, give me pen and I'm going to write poetry here. Oh, I love the way the voice is taking me on a journey. Oh, the music. The mel it's so it's so well produced actually. It's very, very well produced. We'll be better away. And it's kinda, you know, catchy. We'll be better away, we'll be better away. And then Changra Oh Chandra yeah! Chandra Book me on that vote. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And if I have to specify where, I'm gonna go for French Vogue. Right, okay, guys. Where do we begin? There's a lot to unpack here. Miss Keshinovi, 22-year-old winner of The Voice of Georgia. 
You know what? Whilst Georgia has not been that concerned with qualification, particularly at the adult Eurovision, they've used it as a as an avenue to showcase, you know, their heritage, their musical heritage. Or sometimes to make a statement. Nina Sublati's Warrior comes to mind, which of course was all about the invasion of her country, but we didn't know that until like seven years later, right? But now when you go back and reference those lyrics, it makes perfect sense. She was oximated. We're now gonna talk about Uru. Uru, this is going through the final. I'm sorry, let me just make a prediction. Georgia is not gonna sit it out this year. If they bring this team, including Zaza Orashvili to Liverpool, we are in for a surprise. Visually, this is great. Shako, you've done a great job. Marika, you've been amazing. Giga, as always. Kuhanidze. Keep slaying! Oh, I'm just about to stutter. What did we just listen? What, that was, that was a moment. That was a moment. That was, that is so, you know, it has so much art in it. It has so much music. It has so much, you know, fashion as well. And so much, so much thinking, so much ideas, so much thoughts, so much, so much soul and so much love. You know, they literally put their souls and their love to music together and we got this eco music oh my gosh imagining that performance on the stage it can be really really big because the staging in liverpool is really interesting i think it's one of the best stagings like ever and it has that artsy you know kind of feeling you know it's 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 not a usual staging you know it, it it's really unique and this song is also very you know authentic and unique and different we know georgia has really nice stagings for an example also in junior year with the song contest like last year Miriam Big Vava, I believe that's one of my favorite songs like ever at Junior Eurovision. So this is this gives me that kind of you know vibe. I would absolutely love to see that slaying at Eurovision because this is this is art. I absolutely love this. It's going on my favorite Spotify playlist. Definitely. Uh, who wrote that song? Who wrote that song? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, music by Giga Kukianice. Slay girl, Giga, you're amazing. Uh, lyrics, Iru, you see, you see when I said that, Iru said, give me the pen and I'm going to write a poetry, <laughs> that's the thing, and also Benny Kadagitze, Kadagitze, uh, they wrote together, mixing Giga, Koba, Mex Mes Meskia, Giga production, yeah, oh my gosh, the whole Giga thing, this is such a Giga song, such a Giga project. Yes, Georgia, you are such a mzeo. Mzeo. This is really amazing. And of course, the choreography is by Georgie. This is a whole team behind this. And although if you isolate each line, it has deeper metaphorical meanings but when you put it all together it almost doesn't make sense but you know what this is this is also a platform for her to showcase the vocal delivery of what she's singing about and you feel it in the passion she exudes when she sings but of course uru is no stranger to success she actually won junior eurovision as part of um Candy, the girl group who put out Candy Music when Georgia won Junior Eurovision in 2011. So, you know, Eurovision was always sort of destiny on the cards and now she's won the voice of Georgia. I, I, I can confidently say that she'll be in the grand final of Eurovision 2023 in Liverpool. United by music, but she has her own ambitions and they will unfold. I don't know, I literally, I'm super, super positive about this one. Iro will definitely slay this vocal life and i am absolutely certain that she will slay also you know performing wise because in the music video we see that she's such you know um, such a good actress should she feels she feels and she she plays the song and the meaning of the song so much and oh my gosh if she brings that short hair at the stage or at the pre-parties i will absolutely love her because this fits her so well it, it it's something like anna winter you know the fashion icon wow he, she just needs you know the sunglasses and done <laughs> Iru, you are my okrosuli. Zeo, love you so much. Such, such a beautiful girl. And congratulations on that song. You have to be very proud and the whole theme. What I like about this song is that it goes be, I mean, this, me, it is not a secret. Love's a crown. Dun, 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 dun. 
The melody is pretty good, but you know, that's not, it's not relying on that and it's not relying on the song structure by say. This gives a lot of um, moments for like visual spectacle. It's a bit like Yvette Mukuchen's Love Wave, you know? Not the perfect radio entry, but my God, see her on stage and you get it, right? You get it and you want more of it. Even the jazz version, which is like nine minutes long, bring it on. You're ready to let it stew because it just sucks you in. And you know, Echo has similar vibes. And lots of songs that have song titles of Echo have this as well, right? Leona Lewis comes to mind. This is, this is good. This is very respectable. And this has an international feel about it. But I think Georgians would also feel that they're being represented on this track. There are very strong Georgian elements. I love it. Oh, and I, and I just love how the looks sort of like, they change the pace of the song and they actually give you such a visual feast. There's a lot of theatricality here, you know, without being sort of really interpretive. It's speaking through wardrobe. It's speaking through octaves. It's also speaking through, it's speaking through, this is United by Music actually, because so many elements on here have that cohesive embrace. And yeah, it's not an easy thing to achieve because sometimes too many cooks can spoil the broth. But in this instance, there is cohesion and there is, I wouldn't say uniformity, but there, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I think it's probably just cohesion. There is good cohesion here. Singing in unison, but different color palettes. If there's anything I could change here, it'd be the lyrics. I think they need revisiting because the song structure actually is very good pacing for putting lyrics that hold meaning. If this has been in Georgian, nonsensical lyrics in Georgian, I would have been okay with that because I wouldn't have understood it anyway. Uh, you know, being able to sort of comprehend lyrics in English, this throws me off a bit, but where it does compensate is in its visual expression and in its vocal delivery. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. And please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of reaction videos coming up. I know we are a little bit late because I work so much. I work a lot, uh, even, you know, outside of Eurovision and even outside of we vlog. So that's why I'm so sorry. And also my other colleagues, you know, other video editors, they, are, they have lots of things to do as well. So so sorry about that. But thank you so much for watching our videos. It means so much. Please write anything like every single thoughts of yours down on our videos well that's what i think if there's a mood board that i want to see on pinterest it's iru's mood board yeah i mean they're just serving me looks to blissy fashion week i'm living for it i've been to georgia a few times and i love it and you know what maybe it's time for another revisit but while we're thinking about that and looking up our flight schedules can we follow wee wee blogs on pinterest and we will see you later. Bye! Bye. <laughs>